Across this series, we've seen how an amazing space on Britain's waterways can be life-changing, as one woman in Staffordshire set out to prove when she left the London rat race for a far calmer pace of life. Hi. Sarah, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So nice to meet you. You too. This is a thing of beauty. Thank you. This is the book barge. Why did you buy a barge? I was working as an entertainment reporter, which is a yeah, euphemism for paparazzi. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, okay. And just kind of had enough. It was really full on, long hours, fancied a change. And it also tapped into some like romantic dream that I'd had of like just being able to sail away when I wanted. And... Take your shop anywhere yeah. you like. To fulfil her dream of opening a bookshop and living on water, Sarah splashed out £25,000 on this 60-foot second-hand narrowboat. Cruising the UK's 2,000 miles of canals requires a permit, insurance and a boat MOT, but no driver's licence. So when you were learning to drive this thing, mm -hmm. what was your worst mistake or crash? This has been through the wars. I flooded it, I got stuck in a lock and didn't really know what I was doing and water was pouring in. And... So this is home sweet home as well, is it? This is. This is the shop and home combined. In an area measuring just 400 square feet, Sarah's managed to cleverly create a charming live workspace. This is uh, a very cute and very beautiful bookshop. Thank you. It's packed with so much character. With the boat already in good condition, Sarah spent just £1,000 on second-hand furniture, timber for sleeping pods, and lots of multifunctional storage solutions. Everything has a double purpose, really, especially in this table, which doubles up as, as a bookcase, a display table. And then we hide our um, like cooking stuff underneath here as well. That's a clever... And they're made from um, a friend's staircase, actually. These are stair treads. You've made a table out of a friend's staircase. <laughs> Yeah. With space at a premium, this barge is a lesson in putting every fixture to work. Even Sarah's bunk beds double up as reading pods for customers. The thought that someone's come into here, bought a book, and they sit on the beds and read stories. It's really beautiful. And these must have cost nothing. nothing. It's basically just chipboard, it's OSB. Over the last six years, Sarah's worked hard to make every part of her board streamlined and simple, with one exception. So how do I get into your loo? So if you just move the stairs up. Yeah, they go to there. And there's two catches on the door. One at the, one top. At the top. One at the side. Yeah. And it sort of cantilevers out. Well, that's good. All right, OK. And you have to it spins swing it around. There. And then the toilet bowl itself actually swings round. There's no privacy, though. Well, so I know, not here. if, not if mean, this is open, it has to, you can only... Yeah, yeah but, like, and the outside this, world's over there. Is, yeah, for this... So, all right, so you close that... design floor. Close that and close that. Yeah. God, you need to have, really need a wee. Would have been too late by then. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sarah is so brave to have made the massive lifestyle change that she made. And actually, the barge that she's built is really beautiful. It's hardly surprising that her floating bookshop is a bestseller.